right, guys, welcome back to World Let's Play Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. Uh, we're gonna get a few things done before we head off to the next dungeon. So this is the pond of happiness. You gotta throw in some money. I don't feel lucky. Uh, you wanna throw in 100 rupees? And then after you throw in 100 rupees, uh, you will be able to... You will be able to upgrade a thing. A capacity of either your bombs or your arrows. Like I said in the last episode, uh, you can have, I believe, a total of... Uh, 50 bombs and, uh, like, 70 arrows. Really, it's kind of late to be doing it now. But... You know, the arrows especially will be very nice for uh, the last dungeon because you actually need the arrows to be Ganon. Oh man, who would have guessed? You're gonna fight Ganon this episode. Not this episode, at the end of the game. This other game. Who would have guessed? But yeah, this is what you do. I'm probably going to be speeding a whole lot of this up. If not, uh... Yeah, it upgrades it by five. Every hundred. And this is gonna take forever. I don't know if I'm gonna just end up cutting it out. Or what? Or if I'm just gonna speed it up a lot. But, uh, I think after it upgrades once, you can throw in 50. And it makes it so it does not take as long until you need to get more rupees to upgrade. So, you know, and when you do need to uh, upgrade, when you do need to get more rupees, you uh, there's a place that you can go. There's a place that you can go. Uh, it's kind of, it's uh, near the desert. Uh, there's one room of pots, and there's a guy in there. And under each pot, there's five rupees. Uh, so you can just keep on getting out of there until you have the max amount of rupees again. Because not only do you need to have rupees for this, but you will need, I believe, 100, 100 or so rupees for a super bomb that lets you upgrade your sword. And I tried to do it earlier, but you know, you have to beat basically every dungeon except for Turtle Rock. Either that, or you just need to beat the, uh, the fifth dungeon and the fifth and sixth dungeons. I'm not sure. But oh well. So I probably should cut this out because even if I speed this up as much as I can speed it up, it's probably going to be a long, a long video just this. I don't know, I'll cut something eventually, maybe. I don't know. But I'm going to upgrade bombs first because I feel like it. I don't know. But you know, this is. Kind of boring, you know, but it is very helpful. So, and then the luck thing, I've, I'm wondering if it's like an animal crossing where you'll fall more or something, where you'll just have a worse time. I'm not sure, but you know, I don't know. And then uh, when you have the max amount, I don't think she'll let you hold any more bombs or whatever when it's like that. It's all like, hey, I can't leave them anymore. I think she might tell you that, but I don't know. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, how are you guys doing? I mean, I'm doing pretty good myself. I might go to one of those house scenes, it's like before an auction, you go to look around the house, it's a really old house, but it's bigger than the house that I'm in now, so you don't like to see that. It's an old house though, but you know, it's nearer, the rest of my family is closer, so the rest of my family is out. I didn't mean to throw in 25, crap. I knew I would have done that eventually. Man, man, oh man. Oh well. For this, I'm just walking up next to the fountain, I'm not pressing any buttons. So, I mean, if you wanted to know, am I seriously getting like 5 rupees short of being able to finish this? Or am I thinking of something else? Oh well. Uh, you know, we're almost done here, for bombs at least. So, you know. Now we have 50. We have 50. What? When did we get 50? I don't know when we got 50. Oh, jeez. We're throwing 50 again. Hooray. I don't know how much she's giving me, like, 10 more instead of 5. I don't know why. You know what? Probably I'm not reading this, so she might have said, hey, I'll give you 10 instead of 5. I want to carry more bombs. I cannot grant any more wishes for bombs. Oh, yeah, uh, when you fully upgraded bombs or arrows, she won't let you upgrade it anymore. So. You know, I just showcased that because I was being kind of silly. I forgot about that. Oops. Well, I, I don't know. But, you know, you know, summer is kind of coming at the end, technically. I mean, technically, it's not, like, calendar-wise. We still have, like, at least, like, two more months calendar-wise, but, you know, school-wise, there's, like, you have, like, a month more of summer. About, also, there's a like, crack in the wall over here. What? Yeah, that's a crack in the wall. What's up with that? Okay, what's up with this crack in the wall? I never noticed it. Oh, a fairy fountain. That's cool. I never used any of my fairies on cold stair. <laughs> Jeez. That's kind of awesome. Either that or I got some back. Throw a few. I throw a few. For a second there, I actually thought that I forgot to save after I beat the last dungeon. Because I had all my fairies back. Because I saved after I got all my fairies, but I accidentally quit. But you know, I have all the blue mail, so... And I have 18 hearts. That's the most you can have at this point in the game, unless you all... Uh... Yeah, it is, because there's actually a heart piece in Turtle Rock. As well as a heart container. Wait, what? Oh, I don't have any money left. Dude. Dude. Okay, so where you want to go when you're out of rupees? Is you want to you wanna go over to that green area where it's still green? So, you just want to fly? Oh jeez, I thought I'd been recording for a lot more than I already have. I thought I was recording for like half an hour. Holy crap. That would've been bad. I was recording for like half an hour. Yeah, see the stairs there? That's where you wanna go. Ow, you see that wasn't nice. Now the bird's happy. Oh yeah, you just wanna go in and out of here. Until so you have the amount of rupees that you wish you have. I know this is kind of the boring way to do it. Technically you can just go to the chest shop in the dark world and get money that way. That's probably a better way to do it. But uh six. There are uh, there are fifty rupees in here. Every time you go in and out. So, dude. Why do you think I didn't talk to you? I was, I was dashing my way towards you. Dude. I don't know, but. Like, if I finish all the LPs that I have going right now, or not right now, 
But, uh, like, oh, or not right now, but just before summer ends, I guess. If I'm going to start another LP, I'd have to say it would probably be a Golden Sun. I know I've been talking about this, that game in the past, like, day or so. But, oh my gosh, it is a really good game. I love it. I mean, think of an RPG, but with really intricate puzzles. Seriously, those are some mind benders right there. Holy crap, some of the puzzles in the Golden Sun series, or the first one at least. Yeah, I, I have, I've only played the first one. I saw The Lost Age before I saw the first one, actually, but, you know, not only is it like, uh, well, I, have, I would have no idea what would be going on. Because it starts off exactly like the Lost Age starts off like right where the first one ended. I mean, yeah, if you watch an LP, but it'd be different. That end, it was like twenty dollars used, like fifteen, twenty dollars used. I don't know I got the first one for like ten dollars used, though, so that might be a good deal. I don't know. I thought it was a pretty good deal, considering how like every Game Boy game I have there used is like you know a good five dollars at least. Especially because Game Boy games are so hard to find, especially at the place where I go. Seriously, they have more than sixty-four games than they do GBA, and then they have like this storage thing in the back, so everything that they have, I don't know, racks. It's not all that they have. They just need to put some new stuff out. I need to my nose. Ugh. Oh man. Oh jeez, I didn't notice that I had 500 rupees. I got so bored, kind of. I have to have been recording for at least 10 minutes now. But seriously, even if I put this at the fastest I can put this at, it's still gonna take forever. No. And then, uh, you know, after I do this and after I do the super bomb thing, uh, I still want to see if I can get that heart piece, like right outside Turtle Rock before. I do Turtle Rock because even though it's just outside, it won't take a minute. You have to walk all the way up that mountain. And it sucks. And you, and you need a shot to do the dungeon. And uh, you need a fire nice rod to be the boss. So, uh, as long as you quake the fire nice rods and a shot, I think you can do total rock. But I'm not sure, you'll probably die really easily though, because it's the last technical dungeon in the game, aside from the final one. The last one with the maiden at least. I just played the flute on accident. Oh man. Yeah, this is really boring to you guys. I don't know what I'm gonna cut out or not. What I'm gonna cut out. I'm gonna cut something out, probably. Either that or I'm gonna make this go as fast as it will. Because I'm probably gonna end up recording for like 20 minutes just this segment. This little segment of. Actually, I've only been going for about 15 minutes. Uh, but I still need to upgrade all the arrows, and then I need to do the super bomb thing, and then I need to go up that mountain, even though I can technically do that next episode. But I'm gonna get the dungeon in one video, I'm not walking up to it as well. I think I've done that with almost, if not every dungeon in this series so far. I mean, Link in the past, not any other Zelda game. You know what, this is like, or I was gonna say this is the only Zelda game I've done, but no, I don't want something to Really, there's no excuse, the only excuse for me not to have done just about every other Zelda game is because I don't know where I'm longer. I guess I'm doing Fallout Princess and Four Swords. I did Four Swords, though. I'm still doing Fallout Princess. That's a, probably one of, if not the longest game in the Zelda series. I mean, I know it's technically not, but it feels like it. Holy crap. Also, I'm almost done. That's good enough. Now that you've got all of, uh, now you've got all your rupees, you just want to go to this one, or get out something that's not the flute, so you don't accidentally work. And then you just want to go back to the pond of happiness. There's, there are two mysterious, there are two mysterious ponds, and then this pond of happiness. I don't know why I thought, where am I going? I don't know why I thought I would, uh, warp to the pond. I guess because there's a, a warp to the dark world there, I don't know. Man, oh man, holy crap, this is gonna be a boring episode. Even if you did know that all this other stuff is happening afterwards. I don't know, I might think this happened last. Just because it's so boring. I mean, holy crap. Make sure you choose arrows. You can technically do arrows first. So if you accidentally press A and you already have your bombs done, you won't have wasted the amount of time you did putting the arrows in or putting the money in. 250 rupees. I'm happier. I ate step. Wow, it's almost 4 o'clock already. Whoa, dude. Technically, I could have finished this series like a long time ago. If I really wanted to, but I guess I was occupied, busy being occupied by other series. Such as the Nocturne. I still need to get to the part of the game that I was at before, uh, before I lost my save. Yeah, that's why you always make a new save. Especially if you're recording, because if something bad happens, and now I know why NTS does it. Also, that pond looks way too shallow to have all that money. I mean, seriously, that looks like something that Link could wade through with ease. I mean, I could technically get all my money back, but would I lose my upgrades then, or... I mean, technically you can't go in there, but what if you could? I don't know, man. This is gonna be so fun for you guys to watch. It's gonna be fun for me to watch over, so I know where to stop to go fast-forwarding. Unless I make this its own clip. That'd be easy. You know what, I'll probably do that. Yeah, I'll do that. See, I've been recording for almost 20 minutes at this point. Oh, holy jeez. Dude. Yes. I have been recording for 17 minutes and 30 seconds at this point. So, yeah. Also, there's like hair in my mouth right now. I'm feeling this cat hair, I don't know why. Yeah, yeah, that's hair. Great. That's wonderful. Hair tastes delicious. Uh, come on. Can I just put all of my money in there at once and you just upgrade all my stuff? Wouldn't that be easier? Can I just go adventuring and then it'll do it when it's done or whatever? We're almost done, hooray. Oh my gosh. Oh, jeez. I wish I could have just... Like, in Link Between Worlds, where you can just hold the maximum amount of rupees that you can hold is 9,999, and then I wouldn't have had to go get the rupees for like 10 minutes. Like 5, 10 minutes, however long that took. Holy crap, dude. This is a boring segment for me, I'm the one playing an action game. You know what, I'm the one who's up. Yeah, she just made it go from 60 to 70. Oh, a maximum of 70. I don't know why that last one was up by 10. I couldn't have done that in the first place. This wouldn't have taken nearly as long. Man, oh man. Oh, uh, just in case, because I'm not exactly sure. A little luck, oh man. I am saving after I do this part, because it is really boring. I mean, oh my gosh. Girl! I have no idea why I did that. Oh no, no more wishes! You're telling me to go to the one exorist like, that I did that in like episode 5. So yeah, we have a maximum of 50 bombs and 70 arrows. Uh. Uh, I'm gonna warp to 
the water palace again. I'm gonna work for this. Okay, see you guys in a minute. I need to, I need to edit this bit. See you in a minute. Okay, guys, hopefully you skipped. Alright, crap. Uh, the crap that I decided to leave in at the beginning. I don't know, I'm chasing an app truck. Uh, yeah, the, uh, the part where I did all the grinding to get 50 bomb, to get 50 total bombs and 70 total arrows. Hopefully you skipped that part. Uh, hopefully you skipped to the part where I told you where I said you should skip to if you don't want to watch all that. Because... Yeah, uh, the reason it's not faster is because he couldn't hear what I was saying. Also, this guy has a super bomb for 100 rupees. He's, in, he's a little elephant man. Uh, if you try to dash, if you try to use the Pegasus boots, you'll drop the bomb, but you can pick it back up by just touching it. Uh, what you're supposed to do this is you're supposed to take it to the pyramid, but... Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. No, it got me. Yeah, you don't want to jump off ledges. I forgot about that bit. Yeah, be careful. If you get hit, you do not drop it. But you know, it's never a good idea to get hit, so... Uh, whip out your weapon of choice. Yeah, this sword is really strong. Yeah, we're gonna go get it. Uh, this is the easy way to do it, because you can just... Because uh, the gate around Hyrule Castle is actually just a... It's a warp, so... There's no reason to... Ow. Ow. Oh, no. No. Yeah, see, it's a warp. And it makes it easier than having to go all the way around to, uh, to this place. But three, two, one, go. Oh man, it's a fountain. It's another mysterious pond. Throw some things in. Let's throw the arrows in. See if we can get some, some special thing. It's a fat fairy. Did I drop it? Yeah, I did. I am very honest. Thank you. Silver arrows to deal the final stroke to Ganon. You definitely need them. I know I don't have the figure of a fairy, but it's Ganon. He made me fat. I gotta beat him. Now we have silver arrows. We need these to beat up Ganon. Stick around a bit longer, though. Because, believe it or not, we can throw our sword in. <laughs> Master Sword. Hey, did you drop the Master Sword? You know what? I'm gonna give you something better than the Master Sword. Throbbing in your hand. Yeah, this makes me assume that it's not the same sword, and that the Fat Fairy ran off with the Master Sword, and NCS said, hey, they should make a game out of that where the fat fairy ran off with the master sword. I'd pay to see that or whatever. But, uh, you know, I'm just gonna whip out the magic mirror here. Because it's magical. And I just warped inside of a rock. Do not do that. It is, um, not recommended. And... I'm gonna warp to Death Mountain. Uh, and I'm hoping that I don't need to go up a certain way and I can go up a different way because it should take less time, but I'm not sure, so. I'm not sure if it'll work or not. Apparently there's a bridge that you have to cross or something with, and you need the hookshot for it, but I don't even know if you need to cross that bridge as long as you have the magic mirror. I'm not sure though. I might be taking the wrong way. Also, this level 4 sword. It's level 4. It's golden. It's golden. That's pretty cool. These guys are jumping over my hook shot. These guys are mean. 
Oh, you know? That was silly. Why'd I do that? Oh, yeah, I know why. Oh, you know what? I might actually need to, to, to take the long way, and that sucks. I'm gonna go over here, though. Dude! Apparently, I still have some speeding up to do. Oh my gosh. Maybe not, though. I don't know, because I don't want to do any more speeding up, considering I just sped up a 20 minute. Uh, the video, the last segment, was like 20 minutes. Yeah, this tower is actually Ganon's tower in the Dark World, so, you know, that's cool. But yeah, this is the easier way to get through this. Ow. It's quicker, I think. I hope that it's quicker. Ow. You guys are mean. Also, fairy. Hi, fairy. I got rid of that for no reason. Wonderful. Uh, but you go over here, actually, and in the light world... I knew you could do this easier. You guys are pieces of crap. Uh, but you need the titan's mitts to get up here. You need the hammer. You need to hit these in the right order. You need to hit them like that. Oh man, a warp! And this is the quake symbol. Oh man. Let's use quake. And then it goes all fizzy and it just disappears. I think it would have been cooler if it exploded, like the head exploded. Oh well, do whatever you want in your own game. Uh, but I did that because I'm gonna go grab something before we start off this uh, next dungeon, before you start off Turtle Rock. Uh, whip out bombs. Go down here. Throw it over at him. What? You know what, let's use ether. We haven't used ether before. What does it do? Invisible pathway! Whoa! Yeah, ether lets you see invisible passageways. And it kills enemies. There's a whole bunch of chests over to the left, but I don't care about that. I believe you have to bomb this one. Uh, the other side, the, the, uh, no? Dude. That was a fairy fountain, though. Heart. Yay. But this is important. What? An area that we've never seen before, even though it's just a peak. Warp. Oh man, heart piece. That is the second to last heart piece in the game. The last heart piece is actually inside of Turtle Rock. So, you know, do whatever you want. Also, the clouds are pink and electrical. Uh, the main item that you'll be using in this dungeon is the cane of suburba. Suburb, sub, su suburbia. What is it called? The cane of Samaria, jeez. You know what, I'm gonna keep this up. Okay guys, next time on more, let's play Legend of Zelda Leak to the Past. We will go into, to uh, what, the seventh dungeon? which is Turtle Rock, and then, you know, we'll save someone, hopefully Zelda, and then we'll go kill Ganon. So see you guys then. Bye-bye.